Now, when you think of a model boat hobbyist, right, so you probably picture them meticulously painting every last detail on a scale model, and then the model is carried up to the shelf, the mantle, and with a glass case over it, right? That may be so, but the hobbyists you're about to meet aren't so much interested in fine details as much as they are in surviving enemy fire. And mm -hmm. their story is this week's installment of Built in Your Backyard. It's morning in a man-made lake in Texas. It's quiet and peaceful here, but the waters are about to get stirred up by the North Texas Battle Group. They're hobbyists who get together for naval combat with remote-controlled model battleships that they've built mostly from scratch. And the guns, they really shoot. One of the uh, great parts about this hobby is that the damage is not simulated. The ships actually fire projectiles, and when the uh, holes in the armor are numerous enough that the water comes in faster than the pumps can pump it out, then uh, the ship goes straight to the bottom. Wes Wynn is a college student and captain of the French battleship Dunkirk. He's readying a float that'll help him haul up his ship if somebody sinks it. Sinking the Dunkirk might be tough, though, because among club members, Wes has a reputation as a crack shot. The guns have to be aimed visually, but as you uh, become more familiar with the ship, you're able to uh, sort of learn a feel for it. So as you put your stick different directions, as you get familiar with it, you can really get a better feel of where your guns are at all times. I've been raised on, you know, the various gaming consoles and whatnot, so the uh, hand-eye coordination did give me a, a jump start in the hobby. Today, Wes is teaming up with Lon Webster, captain of the Italian battleship Andrea Doria. Lon and his son load the ammo big BBs. They'll travel at a speed of about 50 meters a second, propelled by carbon dioxide. See? On the opposing team, airline pilot Don Payne. This is the USS Missouri, World War II battleship with 16-inch guns. Like all the models, the Missouri is 1 144th the size of the real ship, made mostly from balsa wood. It's the engines and props, the rudder works, Don's ally is Jeff Burns. His ship is the heavy cruiser USS Dallas. I've got an ugly ship. I've got... Like on most of these ships, you'll find lots of battle damage, but not much detail. Um, but that's pretty standard on a combat model, where the fine detail work has a tendency to get knocked off. So over time, we put some of that back on, but since it's not necessary to the combat operation of the ship, a lot of times it gets left off. Over time, she gets to be a much uglier ship. In this simulated World War II naval battle, Wes and Lon will attack an Allied convoy, now in harbor on the other side of the boathouse. Their goal is to sink cargo ships and tankers. The convoy is protected by the Missouri and the Dallas. They have to escort the convoy around a marker buoy and then bring them back to port. But before the battle starts, Wes has a problem. He hauls out the Dunkirk on the custom-built lift. Old battle wounds are causing a leak and silencing his guns. <laughs> One thing after the other, uh, now the firing servo has gone out on me. And uh, sometimes that just happens. It'll get a bit of water in there. And uh, sometimes they just burn out after age. And uh, so I just got to pop out that servo, put a new one in there, and uh, hopefully we'll have guns. Make it more fun for everyone. The firing servo opens the valve that releases the CO2. Another club member gives Wes a new one. Yeah, when we're out of the water, uh, we're all good friends. It's just when the uh, ships hit the water and the ball bearings start flying that uh, we become enemies. Dunkirk is relaunched, the convoy sets off, and the battle begins. Let's go cause some mayhem. If it ain't rubbing, it ain't battling. Oh, we missed. We missed. Oh, ah. The BBs ricochet, so everybody wears safety goggles. Here, Doria. Ooh, Here, Doria. Over the bow. Andrea Doria takes some serious hits from the Missouri. You got more portholes than you went out with, Lon. The bilge pump is able to handle the leaks, but Lon's guns aren't working. His partner Wes isn't doing any better. Dunkirk oh, takes shots nice. below the waterline. Oh, there goes the pump. Oh, it didn't apply, no. As the ship lists, water pours in through the holes, the guns are silenced. 
oh, the servo nice. got wet, started glitching, and that caused the whole radio system to start glitching and resulted in a loss of power with the Dunkirk and loss of control. On this pond, the Dunkirk is a sitting duck. Meanwhile, the convoy rounds the marker buoy and heads safely back to port. As for the Dunkirk... The Valley of French find that their gallantry only finds them a watery grave. The rescue float and balsa wood superstructure stay on the surface. Dallas pushes the superstructure back to shore. And Wes heads out on a salvage mission. I'll tell you what, Missouri got in some good hits. She got a little payback coming to her, huh? Oh, yeah. They find the float, haul up the Dunkirk, and assess the damage. And if you actually look closely, you can see there's still some of the ball bearings embedded in the armor that didn't quite make it through all the way. And uh, just, just proof that the damage really is uh, pretty real. Time to patch up and head back into battle. Because for the North Texas Battle Group, a watery grave is not forever. Mmm, now them's getting eaten.